attention of my colleagues to the spate of kidnappings in my senatorial district. As a matter of fact, in the state at large, that the situation is becoming so worrisome that people do not move freely. Even in a situation where you have security aids, their number must matter because if you carry one policeman with you, you might even be risking his life. People are kidnapped in the broad daylight and the most worrisome aspect of it is when you negotiate ransom and you pay, yet such victims are not released. I'm aware of the case of one individual one young man who runs a filling station and has paid up to a hundred million. He's not been released. So bring his vehicles also. And the family have now gone into removing his vehicles and sending to them. In the country where there are a security operators. So what does it take to track these people that we cannot do? Now this is a fear that has beclouded my own people. And my worry is it may degenerate because the security operatives are Most of them, they say, they speak that whether they are full and henchmen or whether they are insurgent, maybe from neighboring Chad, Nigeria, Republic of Mali, I don't know. Maybe they came at a time the border was so porous. So we have a huge security problem in our hands that we need to let the world know in Taraba State. We will not take an isolated measure outside of the mainstream security apparatus of the country. For instance, the state cannot raise a vigilante that has no backing of our military and the police so that it doesn't appear as if we are operating uh, in another country. My suggestion is informed by the fact that the army and the police are our recognized institutions of security that provide security to lives and properties. The vigilante here come in handy because they are more acclimatized, they are more familiar with the terrain and can provide a roadmap, you know, as to where to go. This is where their role is very, very key. So on having this joint team together, it will be more effective to have them together and facilitate the process of wiping out these people than you know, operating differently. So there is nothing wrong about going to face these people frontally. It is in order because in my own community now, it's like a war situation. I remember it, uh, in, 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 in an atmosphere of war, it, it becomes very difficult to try to take chances. So I, I am in support of a measure that will see that the situation is brought to an abrupt end. Mm. If it intends wiping them, why not? Because they have no value for life. Next question, please. If you see his men or insurgent or whatever come to commit crime in a particular community, they are working in liaison with indigents of that community. And it is the same case, even in my own place. Mm -hmm. There are one or two indigents who operate as informant to these people because it's about a criminality, crime, because they share the booties of crime together. And that is the situation everywhere. 
When criminals meet to steal, there is no difference about language, about political party, about religion, and all that. They all come together to steal and kill people. So having state police now, I, I can assure you, in my own humble opinion, is the best option in the circumstance if truly we want to confront these problems frontally. All right, uh, leadership. Communal crisis is not peculiar to one region in this nation. It's, it's, it's a matter that is identified in all regions, southeast, northeast. In every state, there are communities you will naturally have problems like that. But I can assure you, it has been reduced to a very minimal level. The, the recent skirmishes you heard of is just a handwork of some criminal element. Mm. There is no any war going on between the Tiva and the Jukun. No. It's just the activity of some criminal individuals. Remember, this, the rate of unemployment in this country has also given rise to some form of uh, criminalized mischief. You know, individuals who have nothing to do will just go and provoke a fight so that they can give it an ethnic coloration to enable them go and loot and steal. So I can assure you I come from there. There is no the, there are no communities that are at war with themselves in my place, no. For now no. Any more questions? Compared by circumstances of the times that where citizens are becoming helpless. These criminals what make them fearful is because they carry arms. Nobody has the monopoly of ambient and the service is criminalized. If the security operatives cannot help us, then we lawmakers must come up with a legislative intervention to give somebody a legitimate access to arm. So that a, 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 a drug is doesn't meet you on the highway and then just waste your life for nothing. If he knows you bear arm, he will not dare come near you. These are also options available if the security operatives can no longer confront these people. That is the direction I was coming from. Thank you. Thank you.